Do you have difficulty with math? Worry no more because I have a solution for you. Let's have math classes with Mamshi. See you in class. Our topic is about the intercepts and zeros of rational functions. The objective is, at the end of this discussion, the students will be able to determine the intercepts and zeros of a rational function. What is the intercept of a rational function? It is the point where the graph of the rational function intersects the x or y axis. Just take a look at this graph. This one is the intersection of the graph and the x-axis. This one also is the intersection of this graph, of this line and the x-axis. And this one is the interaction of this line and your y-axis. They are called intercepts. Let's continue. We have here another graph. These are the intercepts of this graph. And also, take note that this graph doesn't intersect either the x or the y axis. So, this graph has no x or y intercept. What is the x-intercept? The value of x which makes the function equal to zero. And also, it is referred as zeros of the function. So take note, if the graph intersects x-axis, it is now considered as the x-intercept. And also, we call this the zero of the function. Let's continue. What is the y-intercept? The value of y when x is equal to zero. The value of the function when also x is equal to zero. Let's try to take a look. This one is your y-intercept. It is the point where the line of the graph passes through the y-axis or intersects our y-axis. How do we find the intercepts and zeros? Okay, so number one, f of x is equal to x minus 4 all over x plus 4. Take note that in finding the x-intercept, all you have to do is equate the numerator to zero. Where is the numerator here? This one is the numerator. And this one below is called the denominator. Take note that we have to equate the numerator to zero. So our numerator is x minus four equals zero. Then x is equal to positive 4. Now, our x-intercept is now at x equals 4. And if you are going to express that into point, that is 4, 0. And also, the 0 of our function is equal to positive 4. Let us now find the y-intercept. Take note that in finding the y-intercept, all you have to do is substitute 0 to x or just let x equal 0. On this case, all we have to do is substitute 0 instead of x. So we'll have 0 minus 4 all over 
zero plus four. So if we are going to simplify that, we'll have negative four over positive four and negative four divided by positive four, since they have different signs, the answer will be negative. So that is negative one because, because four divided by four is equal to one. So negative divided by positive is negative. So we get negative one. So our y-intercept is y equals negative one. Or if you are going to express that to point, that is point zero, negative one. Let's continue with our graph. So check this out. It was given that our x-intercept is at positive four and our y-intercept is at negative one. So do you think our solution is correct? Let's continue with number two. F of x is equal to x minus five over four x. Let's find first the x-intercept. Take note that in finding the x-intercept, all you have to do is just equate the numerator to zero. So our numerator is x minus five equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to positive five. And so the x-intercept of the graph is x equals five. If you are going to express that into point, that is five, zero. Let's continue. Let's find the y-intercept. All we have to do is substitute zero to x. So instead of x, we put zero here. Zero minus five all over four times zero. And that is negative five all over zero. Take note that if you are going to divide a quantity or a number by zero, your answer will be undefined. If it is undefined, it means yet yeah, that you don't have a y-intercept. Please check this out. Take note that this line of the graph does not meet y-intercept, y-axis at any point. So it only touches your x-axis at five, zero. This is your x-intercept. Let's continue. Number three, f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 8 all over x minus 5. So let's find first the x-intercept. All we have to do is equate the numerator to 0. We have x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. However, at this point, you have here a quadratic equation because the degree is two. All you have to do to find the value of x is to factor this quadratic equation. So how are we going to factor it? All we have to do is put our parentheses here to determine that these are the functions, that these are the factors of our quadratic equation. And so just focus on the first term and the last term. Our first term is x squared. And so the factors of it are x times x. 
take note that x times x is equal to x squared. Next, we have to think of the factors of 8. What are the factors of 8? It can be 1 times 8 or it can be 4 times 2. So, all we have to do is choose between the two factors if which of them suits when added will become 6. So, which of them? 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. So, we don't have to consider this. And the only one that is left is 4 times 2. And 4 times plus 2 is equal to 6. Therefore, we are going to use the factors x plus 4 and x plus 2. Now, we already have these factors. It is possible for us now to find the value of x. We have x equals uh, x plus 4 equals 0. And the other one is x plus 2 equals 0. Then we have x equals negative 4. And the other one is x equals negative 2. These are the zeros and x-intercepts of our function. The x-intercept is at x equals negative 4 and x equals negative 2. Or if you are going to write that into coordinates or two points, that is negative 4, 0, and the other one is negative 2, 0. Let's continue. Let us find the y-intercept. Take note that in finding the y-intercept, all you have to do is substitute 0 in the value of x. So, let's have this. That will become 0 squared plus 6 times 0 plus 8 all over x, 0 instead of x, minus 5. And so, we have here 0 plus 0 becomes 0. Then what is left is 8 all over negative 5. And so, the x, the y-intercept is y equals negative 8 over 5. Or, we can also write that as negative 5. 1 and 3 fifth. Either to two of this is the correct. You can have this one as the correct answer and also you can have this one as the correct answer. Let's try to check this out. Okay, as you can see, this is your x-intercept. We have two points actually there. Let's try to erase this first. We have two points there. This is your negative 2. And this is your negative 4. So the graph still have to move up and down until it reaches your negative 4 and negative 2 here. And so the y-intercept is 1 and 3 fifth. That's negative 1 and 3 fifth. It's somewhere here more than negative 1. So that is our x and y intercept. Let's continue with the other example. f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x plus 3. So let's find first the x-intercept. We have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Let's try to find out the factors of it. So we have to look for the factors of 6 that will come out that when we add them, it is equal to negative 5. So we can use negative 3 and negative 2 because negative 3 plus negative 2 is, positive, is negative 5. And also negative 3 times negative 2 will have positive 
6. So we'll have x minus 3 and x minus 2 as the factors equal to 0. So let's find the value of x. x minus 3 equals 0. And so our x is equal to positive 3. And for the other one, we have x minus 2 equals 0. So x is equal to positive 2. These are the x-intercepts of the given rational function. And so if you are going to write that into coordinate form or to point, you have 3, 0. And the other one, you'll have 2, 0. Let's continue. Finding the y-intercept is all you have to do is substitute 0 to the value of x. So that is 0 squared minus 5 times 0 plus 6 all over 0 plus 3. That is equal to, this will become 0, and so what is left is 6 over 3. And 6 over 3, or 6 divided by 3, the answer will be 2. So our y-intercept will be equal to 2. And if we are going to write that into a point, we have 0 0.02. Let's continue. Check this out. So our x-intercepts are positive 2 and positive 3. And our y-intercept is positive 2. It's found there. Let's continue with the last example. f of x is equal to x minus 1 all over x cubed minus 4x. So let's find first our x-intercept. Let's equate our numerator to 0. And so x is equal to positive 1. This will be the x-intercept for the given on number 5. Let's have our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is to equate, to substitute 0 into the equation, into the value of x. So 0 minus 1 all over x cubed minus 4x. But our x here will be substituted by 0. So that is 0 cubed minus 4 times 0. So we have negative 1 all over 0. Take note that our denominator here or our divisor is 0. That's why we can say that it is undefined. And so we don't have a y-intercept. Let's try to check our graph here. Take note that this graph doesn't touch the y-axis. But for our x-intercept, it touches your x equals positive 1. For those who are new to my channel, just subscribe to my channel, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated of my latest videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a lot from me.